Hi everybody, Interceptor here, and welcome to the first episode of Decent Gamer Review, where I'm going to talk about the new video game, A Way Out. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I played Brothers. Um, I think I played it about last year, about a year ago. And A Way Out and Brothers share a director, Joseph, I'm not actually sure how to say his last name, and they didn't help me out with a pronunciation guide on Wikipedia, so I don't know if it's Fars or Fares or Faresh or... I don't know. It's Lebanese. That's all I can tell you. Uh, and it might even be Yosef. You might say that. I don't know. But anyway... You can call him Joseph for the purposes of this video. So he directed both of these games. And A Way Out I probably would not have chosen by my own, I will admit. But my friend who lives in Colorado and I were looking for something that we could play together because, you know, we don't really get to see each other and we don't really get to spend time together. But she's not really a big gamer. And so we were looking for something that would be pretty easy, um, but grab our attention. And while we were looking through different co-op games, she came across a way out and immediately said, we have to play this. And this was a couple weeks before the game was due to come out. And as soon as I saw Prison Break, I was like, perfect. For whatever reason, my friend and I agreed that that would be the perfect game for us prison break. <sighs> so take take what you will from that. <laughs> we, we weren't sure if we should be disturbed or not. So we planned, we bought it, and we beat it in two play sessions. We beat it on, on Good Friday, on the 30th. And it was wonderful. We both loved it and were really happy that we, we tried it out. And I knew since the same man directed both this and Brothers that it would probably be pretty good. And it was. Um, this director creates a really good story and also does really interesting things in terms of gameplay and co-op in particular. So let's go into that gameplay a bit because, you know, my friend and I, were, we really are just decent gamers. We're not the most talented, not the best reaction time. And thankfully this game is very forgiving. It is 100% co-op, you cannot play it by yourself. You have to play it either online or local co-op with someone. If you play online, I believe you both do need to have a PlayStation membership. I played it on a PS4, as did my friend, uh, so we did have the same system. I think, but I'm not sure that it might be cross-platform, but don't quote me on that. Um, look it up online at one of the review sites. But setting it up to play was generally not too hard, you know, you do only have to buy one copy of the game and then you invite someone else to play with you and they download the demo um, and then you, uh, um, and then, and then you set up the session, as it were. And as you play, it has checkpoints. So you can go back to those points and play through them later if you want. You don't need to play through the whole game again to play particular scenes. Which I think is really cool and if I can convince some people to play with me, I might go back and try and get all the trophies. <laughs> and there are alternate endings, or at least two. And my friend and I are going to go and get another one, but we haven't gotten that yet. But anyway, other gameplay points 
they do restart pretty quickly when you die, so you don't have to sit around and wait for the loading a lot. You don't have to backtrack a lot. Um, they're generally very good and very forgiving. Only a couple times did we find ourselves dying over and over and it was starting to get frustrating and I just wanted the game to save a little bit later so that we could do a little bit less the next time. But we made it through those, so even when you're dealing with two not very good players, <laughs> it's a very doable, very friendly game. It took us far longer than it seems to have taken others. Uh, I want to say it took us about eight hours to beat, including, you know, loading times and, and all that kind of stuff, but I, I want to say it took us eight hours. Uh, whereas others it was taking more like five or six, so I don't know if we were just that much worse than people. It was probably that. <laughs> it didn't seem like we died that many times, but uh, yeah, I would say it took us about eight hours. It did glitch a couple of times where either I or my friend couldn't move, which was really unfortunate. Like, our, our character would just stop being able to turn, and the other buttons on the controller were working, so it wasn't um, an issue on our end. It was the game glitching and stopping our characters from moving, so you did have to restart from the most recent checkpoint, which was a little frustrating once because we had explored the area a lot, and after restarting I was like, I don't want to... I don't want to do all the things that we just did. I'm not sure it's it's worth it. It's fun to explore and investigate, but it doesn't really affect the game if you don't explore and investigate, I would say. But it was definitely a lot of fun. And of course there were some graphical glitches. Uh, one time I rode a motorcycle off a way I knew I wasn't supposed to go, but I was trying to avoid grenades, and dang it, there you go, gotta drive inland towards the mountain, and I just, I just glitched through the mountain, ended up kind of in weird space, and died, so. <laughs> that was a graphical glitch there, I was not supposed to go that way, uh, but it was totally fine. So yeah, gameplay overall. Very easy, very nice. It tells you exactly what button to hit. Sometimes it can be weird to angle your person so that the button trigger shows up. But, you know, it, it was fine. It was totally fine. In terms of content, uh, it's not for kids. Not at all. It is definitely, as the rating indicates, for mature players only. There are a lot of warnings on there, rightfully so. Um, I was pleased that the nudity and the sexual content were not major. They were only like a blip on the radar, so and they weren't connected. Uh, so those aren't problematic, but you're breaking out of prison, you're felons, you're shooting lots of people or beating them up otherwise, you're getting shot at. So there's there's a lot of violence and a lot of language and a lot of blood. So definitely, definitely not for kids. Um, and definitely not for people who can't handle those things. So if you can't do violence and shooting in video games, then stay away from this game. I will say though, if you can handle violence and lots of cursing, play this game. It is beautiful, the story is interesting, it's deep, it's just, it's a heartbreaking game and the director really did a great job at a 
kind of meta gameplay level where you and your friend playing together really builds up this relationship that mirrors what's happening in the game and then something happens at the end and it really hits you. Um, so definitely recommended um, if you're not uh, too troubled by violence. If it is too much, I do recommend the director's other game brothers. Again, very heartbreaking, very sad, but much more friendly in terms of content. And it is only one player, so you are supposed to play it by yourself. So if you have time, play both of them. Um, but again, know, know your limits. Know your limits. And that's what the Decent Gamer Review is all about. Uh, letting you know what the limits are before you jump into a game and whether or not the game is worth testing those limits. Uh, for a way out, yes, I would definitely recommend this game uh, if you are a mature player. So please leave a comment below with your thoughts about a way out or maybe if you would like to try it. Um, if you have a PS4, I can definitely uh, play a little with you. We can work something out, and that'd be a lot of fun because it really is uh, a beautiful game. But otherwise, have a lovely Saturday. I'm sorry. I'm getting hiccups now. Have a lovely Saturday and a good rest of your weekend, and I will see you later. Please like, comment, subscribe. Until then, Interceptor out.